video, we talked about five reasons why you should get the Hobie Pro Angler 360. This video is going to be five reasons why you should not get it. Number one, obviously, you can't afford it. If you can't afford it, you probably shouldn't buy it. Um, I don't think you should finance a kayak, although there are places where you can do that and it may make sense for you. Price-wise, I just don't believe a kayak should cost this much, but you are getting a lot of new technology and a lot of years of development. Number two reason why you shouldn't get it is it could have issues because it is a first-gen product. Um, if you look at all the Mirage drives, they all have V2 versions. Um, the original one had a V2. The Mirage Drive 180 had a V2. With that said, a first generation product most likely will break and have issues and bugs and stuff that they will have to figure out. Um, I don't like really being the first one to test those bugs out when you're spending that much money. Um, if it wasn't that much money, then you know you can work with it. it they, they're really good with warranties and they replace stuff at no cost a lot of the time. But sometimes you just don't want to deal with those things and I think if you're one of those people who just don't want to deal with broken parts or you know being a guinea pig basically. Because I'm sure they've tested this thing, it's been in development for six years, but when you release stuff to the masses there's always bugs and there's always um, defects and stuff like that that they'll have to get worked out in the first, first probably year or so. Number three, if you only want the kick up fins, you may want to stay away from this because I can kind of see them bringing out the kick up fins either at Paddle Sports Retailer this year or next year for the Mirage Drive 180. Um, I feel like it that would be a great upgrade even if they don't bring it out stock on the new boats. They may offer that as like a two or three hundred dollar upgrade kit to your 180. It definitely looks like it could be easily upgraded on the 180s. We'll have to wait and see but I'd give it a year. Number four is if you only buy used Hobies or kayaks or you only buy used, you can save a lot of money in buying used Hobies, especially especially with this 360 coming out because there's going to be a lot of people selling their pro anglers to upgrade. Um, it happened last year with the 2019 Outbacks, uh, the 2018 and Olders were selling for like next to nothing. There was even a lot of pro anglers, and I was one of them, um, selling their pro anglers to go down to the 2019 Outback. Um, so if you only buy used, this might be a great time to buy used instead of buying that Hobie 360. Number five, and this is just kind of a combination of all the ones before, is just to wait and see if it's worth it. Just keep watching the 360 and see if it makes sense for you, because it might not be worth it for you and it might be worth it a year from now when you've seen how this thing works and what you can do with it. I definitely keep an open mind and maybe this year isn't the year but maybe a couple years from now or maybe you wait a couple years and buy a used one. All these are reasons why you shouldn't buy it right now or at all and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen the other half of this video which is five reasons why you should go check that out. It's the video released right before this one. Anyways guys I'll see you in the next one.